Hi, I'm Michael Merle from Woodstock, Georgia, here at Chalitna Lodge in Alaska. I have always had a, a great love of Alaska and the art that has come out of here, mostly by the Native Americans, the Inuit in particular, and uh, in uh, all my art, I, it's always been man's relationship with nature. What better place to be than right up here around so much nature. Every day I, I love walking the beach and just finding unusual shapes of, uh, and sometimes I'll make bird heads out of some of these, and other times it's just the form of the texture that's so interesting. It would be almost impossible to carve something that, that had this type of line and texture. I love the silvery color of this weathered wood. I like using hand tools quite a bit. I enjoy a draw knife and a spoke shave and a gouge. And often when I go backpacking and want to create something, I'll just pack those three tools. And with those three tools, you can pretty much make just about anything. Of course, it's nice to have a nice bandsaw like we have here. <laughs> There's a, a beauty that happens when you're connected with the tool and using your eye-hand coordination and just the sound of the shaving coming off or the tool mark that those gouges leave. It's quite lovely. One of the things that appeals to me about, about a lot of folk artists or uh, some of the African carvings, you, you often see tool marks or there's a simplicity, it's not overworking the material. It's kind of a, a straightforward approach to working. How do you say fish or how do you say bird in a couple quick lines? Because I think it's sort of a mistake to try to copy nature. You could try to carve as realistically as you wanted and it would not be anywhere near as beautiful as what's out there. So I'm trying to almost capture the spirit of nature rather than the actual form. And I had taught uh, many years as an elementary art teacher and that sort of opened my eyes in a lot of ways too to how children are very uninhibited about making art. They can just sit down, you put a brush in their hands and in 15 minutes you've got a painting and uh, just that, that joy of creating. I have a lot of ideas I want to produce. So I'm, I'm trying to produce one a day at least. So, and, and so far I've kept pretty close to that schedule. I guess one of the things that, about being here at Chalitna is I do feel like it's a spiritual quality and I've tried to, in the pieces I've produced, capture that spirit in, in some fashion. The, the big installation I did was 21 various animals or symbols of man uh, that are mostly found in this area, except for the turtle piece, which was an anomaly, but uh, every other animal up there is found in the Alaska area, so it's pretty special and a good way to honor this place. <laughs> 